Hi, welcome to Reva Industries Limited. Um, in this video, I'll be telling you about uh, various products which we manufacture. As you might be knowing, uh, we are into material handling equipments. Now, what is material handling equipment? Material handling equipment is anything wherein you have to lift a material and shift the material. So anything which is above 20 kgs or 30 kgs, it is not practically possible for a person to lift and shift the material. So you require some kind of material handling, some kind of a machine to lift and shift the, the equipment or, the, or your motor or your load or your anything, maybe your machine even. So we specialize in one part of material handling equipment, which is overhead cranes and electric wire of hoists. So if I talk about my products, so what we manufacture here is electric wire rope hoists, EOT cranes. There are several type of EOT cranes, uh, like double gutter EOT cranes, single gutter EOT cranes, semi EOT double gutter cranes, semi EOT single gutter cranes, underslung single gutter cranes, underslung double gutter cranes. These are all categorized as EOT cranes. Then there is another category of cranes which are known as Goliath cranes. Now Goliath cranes again come under double gutter Goliath cranes and single gutter Goliath cranes. I will be talking about in detail about these uh, equipment so hold on and just try it just we will be to understand what kind of products which we manufacture then is the fourth category which is jib cranes uh, again jib cranes have two major categories wall mounted type and pillar mounted type so coming to hoist this is how a typical hoist look like a typical hoist is uh, something these are two different hoists over here in this picture this is one of the hoists and it is lifting a uh, this this is the load which is which it is lifting so the yellow portion over here what you can see is known as a hoist <coughs> um, hoist has different parts i'll be talking in detail a little later in this video about uh, the various parts in a hoist First, try to understand what all products do we manufacture. So, hoist is essentially a lifting mechanism wherein this hook over here lifts the load up and down. This hook is attached to the load through a sling or a chain. These wire ropes are part of the hoist only and it is responsible for lifting up and down of this load hoist also has cross travel arrangement as you can see over here it is a cross travel motor and a gearbox attached to it and these are the set of wheels which are attached so a hoist can lift the load and transfers the load in this particular direction so uh, you can lift the load and move the hoist with the load in this particular direction a uh, beam will be there as in this video in this uh, picture uh, there is a beam uh, this hoist can move along this particular um, this particular beam on which it will be installed so this is again a better better picture of the hoist uh, you can see this is the hook arrangement which is lifting the load this load is lifted currently this is the panel which is controlling the motions of up and down and cross travel uh, in this picture you can see there it is a cross travel motor which is responsible for traverse motion in this direction here another picture of a hoist uh, this is a special purpose while I'll, I'll be talking about in other videos about this particular product which is flame proof hoist what is flame proof etc i'll be talking about in another videos but typically it's a hoist again lifting the load 
and traversing it in this direction these big things which you are seeing are the limit switches this is the motor which is responsible for up and down motion and this is the this big black box is the control panel again this is a typical hoist <coughs> this is the hook block uh, this hoist is 25 ton capacity uh, again same functions this hook is responsible for moving the load up and down and these are the cross travel motors CT motors which we will call in short form which are responsible for moving the hoist in this traverse motion along with the load so that's that's all for hoist then comes our next category category which is EOT cranes now EOT cranes are of various types majorly categorized as double girder cranes and single girder cranes so as the name suggests double girder cranes in there in this there are two girders this yellow thing which you are seeing this is one girder the other girder is this one so girders are basically uh, structural members which are supporting this trolley arrangement and it takes care of the uh, load which is applied over here so this is the trolley mechanism you can see a gearbox drum and a hook arrangement over here again a double cutter crane is responsible for moving the load up and down as in case of hoist this this wheel arrangement with this gearbox and the wheel arrangement is responsible for traversing the crane in this particular direction which is left and right uh, we also call it as cross travel motion and these set of wheels over here in this direction these are known as long travel wheels uh, here is a gearbox and motor for this also on the opposite side so this this particular set known as LT arrangement long travel arrangement is responsible for moving the crane in this particular direction which is the long travel direction we also call it as forward and reverse direction uh, this is a typical double girder crane again mentioning in a double girder cranes there you will find two girders one this girder the other is this girder this combination makes it a double girder crane I'll be talking in various details about the components in this in the other videos so hold on for that first try to understand what all products do we manufacture this is another double girder crane similar kind you can see one of the girders is this one the other girder is this this is mounted on this arrangement which is known as long travel end carriage LT end carriage we also call this is set of LT wheels on each corner responsible for make moving the crane in forward and reverse direction this is the crab or trolley which we call this trolley is little different from the above trolley which we had seen in earlier photo uh, this is a compact design but the function is all similar uh, again this trolley is responsible for moving the load up and down and moving the load in this particular direction which is the cross travel direction uh, we also call it as left and right motion this is another double girder crane uh, you can see this is the trolley there are two girders one girder over here the other girder over here and uh, you can see a panel this is the silver thing which you are seeing is the panel which is responsible for controlling all the motions so here uh, the panel is a little covered with uh, a sheet or something this is again a typical double cutter crane in this in this particular you can see there are two hooks one hook is this which is which we call as main hook and the other hook is auxiliary hook this is generally a smaller capacity uh, auxiliary hood and this is the main capacity which is the higher capacity so both of them are mounted on the same trolley 
and there are two girders as double girder crane is uh, one is this girder the other is this girder so this motion is cross travel motion the whole crane when moves in this particular direction it is known as long travel motion again a typical double girder crane this this is the girder the length of the girder this is the girder uh, you cannot see the trolley very clearly but the trolley is above it from which the hook is uh, falling down and it is responsible for moving the load in up and di down direction uh, the trolley can move in along entire length of this girder which is known as the cross travel motion and this complete crane can move there are wheels over here on on the corners of this uh, crane uh, which are which can make it move in this long travel direction which is also known as forward and reverse direction or lt motion so this is all about double girder cranes so we have discussed about hoist <coughs> hoist is a simple machine wherein it is responsible for up and down and the traverse motion whereas a crane has three directional motion one is uh, up and down of course then the cross travel motion and then the long travel motion the long travel motion is not there in a hoist when uh, equipment is having all the three motions i.e up and down motion left and right motion and forward and reverse then it is known as a crane when it has only two axis motion means up and down motion and left and right motion then it is known as a hoist it's very simple you need to learn it by heart uh, then comes our next category which is single girder cranes uh, this is a typical single girder crane now a single girder crane also as the name suggests is having a single girder in double girder cranes there were two girders in it but in a single girder crane there is only one girder uh, typically a hoist is uh, attached to a single girder crane to make it a, a single girder crane uh, so this is a typical hoist which is mounted on on this girder and this complete unit is now known as a single girder crane now again this motion up and down motion is done by uh, this gearbox over here which moves the hooks up and down and then there is a cross travel gearbox and a motor over here which moves along this complete uh, length of the girder which is also known as the span of the crane and then the long travel motion is happening in this particular direction so this is a typical single girder crane there are more photos uh, this is again a single girder crane this is the hoist as i told you earlier this is the hoist this is the hook uh, up and down motion is happening through this gearbox and set of motor over here uh, this motor moves gearbox in turn moves there there is a wire rope drum over here it moves and it moves the hook block up and down similarly there is a cross travel motor here a cross travel gearbox which moves the hoist in this particular direction along the girder then there are long travel wheels over here and long travel gearboxes and motor over here uh, when this motor is powered it moves the gearbox gearbox in turn moves the wheel and it moves the complete crane in this particular direction uh, forward and reverse also we call uh, or long travel motion so this is up and down or hoisting motion this is cross travel motion and this complete movement is known as long travel motion now uh, again the difference between a single girder eot crane and a double girder eot crane is very simple a single girder eot crane is having only one girder and a double girder eot crane will be having two girders instead of one uh, secondly the uh, hoisting arrangement or the crab or the trolley in a single girder crane is typically mounted below the girder you can see the girder is below sorry the the machinery is below the girder whereas in a double girder crane the machinery is above the machinery is above the girder so this is the girder and on top of it this this trolley arrangement is mounted
on top of these girders, the trolley arrangement is mounted. So uh, difference between a double girder and a single girder crane, again, is one, a single girder crane has single girder, trolley is mounted below, whereas in a double girder crane, uh, there are two girders and the trolley is mounted above the girders. So this is, uh, um, we have discussed till now, hoist and cranes, EOT cranes, EOT cranes, two types EOT cranes are there. One is double girder EOT crane and then one is single girder EOT crane. There are other types of EOT cranes like underslung uh, single girder EOT crane and underslung double girder EOT cranes. I'll be taking, talking about those in other videos. The, the application is all simple similar the only thing is that in underslung cranes the the crane is mounted below these runway girders these are the runway girders the gray ones you are seeing these are the runway girders on which the long travel motion is happening so in this particular case this is the runway girder this here and this one here in this case <coughs> this is the runway girder the grayish blue thing which you are seeing this is this complete is the runway girder so in a underslung crane the crane would be mounted below these runway girders and in a eot crane a overhead crane it will be mounting above the under uh, the above the runway girders then comes the other type of crane which are known as goliath cranes Goliath crane typically have legs um, in uh, let's say in a double gutter crane or in a single gutter crane if you have legs uh, and the wheels are on the bottom then it is known as a Goliath crane. So these are typical Goliath crane. This is the uh, double gutter Goliath crane where there are two girders, a trolley on top of it and then these are the legs. We literally call them legs and then the long travel motion is over here the long travel motion is here you can see this is the rail line on which this complete crane is moving again the functionality is same up and down motion this is the load which you can see the load is being lifted by this hook block with the help of gearboxes and motor and then you can traverse this load uh, in uh, left and right direction also known as cross travel direction and then you can move the complete crane in this forward and reverse direction uh, using the long travel gearboxes and motors and the wheels over here. So this this comes. So we have discussed about hoist. We have discussed about um, uh, EOT cranes. We have discussed about hoist, EOT cranes, EOT cranes, at double cutter cranes, single cutter cranes, under slung cranes. We have discussed about Goliath crane. Then comes the last category, which is jib cranes. Now, jib cranes are again very interesting kind of cranes. Jib cranes are basically two types. One is pillar mounted. So this is the pillar. Now, this, uh, this is the girder and this is the axis of rotation. This girder can revolve around this pillar in 360 degrees. So this, this arrangement is known as jib crane and this hoist can move in cross travel direction from here to here. So this is cross travel. This is a typical hoist only which we have discussed. Uh, the load can be lifted with this help of these hooks. It can move in this direction and it can rotate around on, on this axis in this direction in 360 degrees. The other kind of uh, jib crane is wall mounted type jib crane you can see this this is a typical kind of a wall where these yellow brackets are mounted and this jib crane can rotate about this axis so it would be typically 180 degrees from this this direction to this direction again hoist is mounted uh, on this girder and the hoist can move left and right and uh, this complete pillar or the complete uh, sorry complete girder can rotate about this axis. So basically, floor area is used. So typically, jib cranes are used 
uh, along with the main cranes as shown in this picture also this is the main crane and uh, on the sides a jib crane is installed which are usually much lesser capacity but uh, it helps in using this floor space so uh, small items like you can see a uh, small piece is being handled by this jib crane and you can see in this shop there are two jib cranes one is this one the other is this one so uh, a very useful uh, category of cranes known as jib cranes uh, normally used uh, in many shops so this comes to end of today's uh, presentation i hope it would have been useful and uh, uh, do watch my other videos for getting knowledge about the products being manufactured. Thank you.